Yo, listen up, here's the story. Hiya. Welcome back to the channel. Right, turn the ignition on a minute. So, we are not in... Shut up. We're not in a C1. We're not even in a BMW. We are in a Mercedes-Benz. And the issue that we've got is this knob. I've got an issue with my knob. And it's not doing anything. It doesn't seem to be doing much. Um, I don't know what it's meant to do. But it's not meant to do that. So I can press that. That's it. Yep, that's all it does. So... That is broken. So the aim of this video is going to be to try and make an attempt at repairing that. So that is what I'm going to try and do. So the first thing I've got to access is there's a button on the side of this here, which I press, and then that opens. And then I pull this out, and there's a torque bit there, which looks like someone's had that out before. It's a bit scratched up, but... That I would say is about a size T20. Now we're anti clockwise, will they remove that? And when we're taking that out and put it in a safe place, and then I need to remove the gear dick somehow. just careful removes in that manner and remove that from there which isn't really necessary but then we can set that off by doing that um so that's that bit off oh yeah that's that little do for the which you just twist and then pull in a sexual manner and it comes off so that's we've got to that bit now and the next thing to take off is this bit now you can use these sort of tools and wedge it in and shit but you can just pull it off I'm going to do it in a sort of careful manner, like so. And then we can get to that screw, but we can't get to the rest of it because this is also in the way. So that bit also needs removing. Now that might need that might need prying off with a tool. Yeah, because that's hurting my fingernails. So careful get into this which is uh, not working very well. My pride still won't fit in, so I'm gonna have to, uh, just have to do it like that. And then we've got to it. And now we can see there's another T20 talking bit. This needs removing. Like so. And then this is now moving, but it is electricity powered, which means it's going to have a wire to it, which if we look down there, we can see is that one, which is hooked into there. As you can see, but there's the wire. It's like a ribbon connection. Uh, it seems to be hooked into multiple places, actually. But it plugs into there. It plugs into that. So if I unplug that from there, which I might need both hands for to get down both sides of it, but... There is like a little clip there, which looks like it's a purpose. Yeah, that button is of purpose. Yes. So now I need to feed this wire out, which is probably not going to make the best viewing. So I might just fast forward this bit. I don't know what it's hooked onto under there though. Right, so it appears to be on a hook under there somewhere, which is sort of behind that bit of carpet. So I'll just um, send the seat back all the way. And so it's in sort of reclining positions. And I suspect that I can pull this. Ow. Hmm. Pull this carpeted area. I know it's something behind there because I've just caught the wire with the tool. Uh, it's not giving us much, is it? Right, this isn't... I might struggle to film this bit, but there is a clip there. And as we can see, 
there is wires. I don't know if you can see or not, actually. There's wires there that are into that clip. And they are, this is the wire, which I need out. You see, there's a clip, there it is. So I'll have to feed that out of there, which may require some specialist tools, but may not. This would be much easier if I had another hand free. But then you won't be able to view it, so it wouldn't be worth doing them, would it? It wouldn't be any good. Right, there we go. And then it's just a case of prodding and poking it until it comes out. So now, I mean, I've got to wiggle that through there quite carefully so I don't pull the plug off. But it's self explanatory, really. There we go. Now, this should come out. Yes. Woo! So now, as you can see, we've successfully removed it from the vehicle and we need to take it apart. So, we've got a T8 and a T10 and we've got a part to put in it, which is, I'll just ignore that. Um, we've got one of them which fits inside it to repair it. But before we can put that in, I need to take it apart. So, this is supposed to come off. Right, so now I need to take this off, and the way to do it is you need to push down on the sensor and then pull up on the outside of it. Now, I've been trying to do that and it's not coming off, so I'm going to have to do it a different way, which is going to involve tools. So, as you can see now, if I push down on this and then lever that in there carefully and just keep on going around it. Now I have to do that to take it off. And then I have to do similar with this. Now, what I have noticed on this is, I should really show on this first, but it's got some marks and scratches on this. as all that someone's already had it apart. So I'm hoping that me taking it apart isn't gonna be a waste of time. There's not something broken that somebody else hasn't been able to fix. Just carefully remove this as well. Which as you can see is not working. So just sort of gently wedge a screwdriver in here and then pull that off. And it's got some sort of glue on it as well, which or some sort of sticky pad. Right, now this is where I need the T8. I think it is. That's a T10. I need a T8. But I also need to hold this still. So I've used my mouth, I can film it, what? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Now remove that one. Then that comes off. That's right, so now back on the T10. So I need to take that one out. I need to take that one. I need to take all these four corners out. And it's still not coming apart, but it appears that I need to take these ones out too. There's another six in there. So I'm going to take all them out. Now I've taken them ten out. Then this comes off. So. Yes. Right, so now we can see, hopefully, roughly where the issue is. And I reckon that these are going to be in the way, so I'll put them off first. And then we'll see what is holding this together. Right, so the next thing that seems to be in the way is these. So I need to take off. I need to get this out. These, if you look at what these are, they're like they go next to a hall sensor and swing in front of it and then it tells it well it's a switch in it so anyway this is a bit awkward with one hand so i'm only going to film one of them but i need to do this four times i need to take that out by carefully removing like so and then dropping it on the floor i need to do that for every single one of them yes <laughs> Right, so now we need to take these shifters off, which means there is, as you can see there, there is like a little tab to pull out. And I've got to do that four times as well, like that. And now I can pull this apart. And hopefully, hopefully we'll see what's broken. 
And then in here, this is where the culprit of the fucked thing is. So we'll pull that out and then realise that it snapped. And that is good news. Um, the other part of it is still stuck in here, so I'll push that out as well. And then I'll just put that one in place of it. So now that should just go in there and it should never break again because it's metal. So now I need to fit that into here. Yes. And with a bit of careful manipulation, it's gone back together. Um, turn it upside down, makes it go in easier. Now let's see if it actually does anything. So now if I put that on there, obviously it's not fully together. You can feel it clicks. And it's a nice sensation, so that means it's working. But for the meantime, I'm just going to put this back together. So if I push these back on, they just click on. Um, easier than they came off. Like that. And then these, these click back in. Opposite to how they came apart. Uh, once again, they go in easier than they come out. So I do that with them all. And then put that shitter back on. And that shitter back on. And then can put this shitter back on. Yes. Right, I'll try again. So that. Now that falls off. See, it all falls off. Okay, so I'll take that out of there because it fell out of there. And then put this onto here. And there's little locators, which that goes on to. And then this sits on to them little things there as well. So, well, that's how it goes together. Oh, well, that's what I think it goes together until I find out it's wrong. So now I can put this on. And I'll put all them screws back in. And all the screws are in there nice and tight. We can flip it over. And we can put this back on and then we can put the screw in which is a T8 if you remember from when we took it off very recently and you might have to push down on it to get the screw to start but that screws into the new piece because this is the the old piece which is broken which has a thread in it and the new piece has the same thread in it miraculously so I snip that up and then now we can carefully stick this back on it's perfectly square using all the correct um, engineering tools to make sure it is subsequent, subsequently square and this drops into the locating pins locating pegs something like that and then this also should just sort of push on but it needs to be lined up something like that yes and now this is all back together um, seems seemingly working as it should be it's time to put it back in the vehicle which brings us back to here so this now i'm putting this in from a nice reclined seating position as i moved the seat right back and down before to um to get to that so i need to feed this through that gap there through there and uh feed that through and then this this draws back into there pull the wire through and then use the screw that came out of it put that back in as well like i said the opposite of what it was to take apart this so i put that back in yes and then i put this wire down there and I've got to put it back in the clip that it came out of. And I don't really need to do that, but I'm going to do that because that's how it was before. Right, so as I said, I've put it back in that clip down there. So now I need to join this back up. Like. Can. Yeah, it's all trying to twist a different way to what I want it to move. Look at that. There we go. That slides onto. And it slides upwards, doesn't it? Yeah, it slides upwards. Right, and this slides in from underneath. Uh, there is also those which need that wire needs putting into them. Something like that. So now I can put this carpet back under and feed it back in. Which I only need both my hands for, but I need to feed that carpet back into the. And the 
front bit, feed that shitter in there. Yes. Right, so the thing I took off last, I think was this. So this is what I'm gonna put on first. That needs to go into there, which clips down like so. And then this bit, and this should just push all back together, really. It should just easily go back together. Probably won't do, but it should do. And same with this. I mean, I've noticed I've not actually tested if that works yet. I want to wait until I put everything back together and then cry when it doesn't work. And this is next, so that needs to go all the way on. And then turn that to make it so it's locked back on. So it doesn't fall off when you're changing gear aggressively with your automatic gearbox. Um, and this, this should just clip in as well. But it appears that I've made the leather too short. I need to, uh, there we go. A bit of fondling and it just clips in. And last thing to go in is that. Which, there's a screw. Oh no, 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 actually, sorry. Sorry, I did it wrong there. The screw goes in first. The screw goes in first. And then that goes in. Let's see if it works. Yes. So as we can see now, we can use the um, the knob to, to change radio station. I mean, you could probably do that with that as well, but now we can do it with this. So all is well. So anyway, that's it. That's um, that's it for this one. Great success. Everything's working. And uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time.